So let's go to our Tableau public. So some things are happening. Things are happening. Over the last week, we have dropped nearly another half kilo or a pound. We went up and back down since we come back from holiday, which has been great. The other thing I've got I've done is I did a new dashboard. This one looks at weigh-ins throughout the whole a day. So starting at 9 a.m. to 9 a.m. throughout the whole 24 hours to see what happens. And one of the things that I found was projecting on how much I could have. So I I measured a drink, a glass of water at um, 0.4 kilos or you know 10 ounces, and then coffee was 12 ounces. I measured weighed, weighed my food. I had 16 ounces of food and beer. I had 10 ounces of um, dinner. I didn't have breakfast, so that made weigh-ins a lot easier. The other assumption that I put into this was I weighed myself without clothes and with clothes, so I could wear clothes and just weigh in and then deduct the weight of the clothes at the end of each weigh-in. And um, you can see this long straight line, that's when I'm asleep. Um, and we wanted to see the effect of having these inputs, what happens on our weight. So it's fairly straightforward. You can see the red, we're going up in weight. We uh, had some water, we go potty, oh, no, we had exercise. Then we went up in weight again. You can see here, and then down we, uh, Went potty, drinking water, eating, I oh know that was coffee. Weight didn't change much after coffee. There's a bit of delay here, I think, in the way you eat and drink. And it led me to look up some sites. Um, we went up here and then down. We're going potty a lot. Then we're having water and we're having food. This is around, or oh, I think it's probably dinner time. And then several events, we go potty twice. Go pot, we actually go potty about five times after dinner before sleep. And then, you know, we wake up and go potty one more time. And then we're having coffee, water, and then we do the weigh in after a couple more potty stops so you can see there's a lot of potty stops after dinner and uh it's interesting I, you know doing a bm i thought i'd lose weight straight away i didn't that came out later so you know the water you can see it comes in out in out in out you can see within uh several time periods you can see the, there's a correlation that the coffee also has an impact because there's water in there. So water, water, water. So all this one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. We actually had six in and one extra out. So somewhere in all this, I had gathered in more water. And then if we go here, we can see that we had some coffee and then water and then coffee always leads to a BM. So awesome. But it's good to see the correlation. I've also there's always a bit of lag between projected and actual. I found that one was interesting as well. So after I did something, you know, based on weight. Should add weight, so if you had five ounces, should add five ounces. It wasn't happening like that. And what I discovered was your vertical weight, so you stand tall with a great posture, is different to a hunched over weight, right? So I've been standing with a good posture. And so every time you eat, that gets distributed throughout the whole body, but it doesn't add, it doesn't equate. It's really weird. Um, but then at the end, you can see here we have a true up and we end up tying off at the end but it seems like it's in a bit of a lag and then over sleep it all catches up so 
you can see there's a bit of a, a lag of about 0.2 of a kilo. So, you know, a couple of ounces. Uh, so that's really interesting. They're the two things that I worked on. Um, I've been finding that I'm doing more exercise lately. So let's see if I can confirm that. I'm going to go back to my original uh, dashboard. Detailed inputs. Here we go. So here we go. I'm going to check on this guy. And recently I've been doing more exercise. So let's do my exercise. Yes. You can see, look at this. I can tell from here. Look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Starting to ramp up on exercise. I went and did basketball, did ice skating, going for more walks. I think because it's a self-confidence issue. I don't think it's actual. I don't think I was physically incapable of doing exercise, but I'm feeling like doing exercise. My body's telling me to do exercise and I'm not resisting. So you can see here when I do exercise. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All this. There's quite a few days, uh, 15 days over or 22 days. I've lost 2.9 pound, 2.9 kilos. So that's pretty good. And more often than not, 60% of the time I'm losing weight when I do exercise. So that's a good thing. The other thing, what other thing that I did was I actually didn't have dinner last week. So we do the nose. One day 0.6 down. Is it still the same? There's something wrong there. I'm sure I didn't have dinner. Interesting. I'll go have to check that. The thing that I'm uh, noticing is the water. If I have lots of water and flushing out the beer, that helps with the weight loss and it keeps keeps it out. Uh, I think the problem in the past is I was having beer and no water. The salt would retain the water and that weight would stay in me. But with the water, it's driving it out. So hopefully that's insightful for you. Um, you can visit my um, Tableau public um, dashboard and have a look yourself. Um, but it is all very scientific, trying to see if in and out does it do anything? And I uh, hope you enjoyed this session. All right.